The following program contains mature subject matter. Viewer discretion is advised. Alexander uncovered online message boards where men were giving advice on how to remove a condom without their partner noticing. Can you believe this? Yikes. And we discovered other disturbing comments about stealthing on social media. You got to hear this. One person writes, well, you can do almost anything to a woman when she's getting off, and she won't get mad about it till later when her mind has time to process. Are you Disgusting. kidding me? Disgusting. Dr. Holly, back to you. Explain why something like this, the damage this can cause uh, related to stealthing. Yes, because it takes away choice, um, autonomy, sexual self-efficacy. We have no choice in what's happening to our body. So really helping survivors, again, understand how confusing this is because it can, it can really, it can be a lot of damage um, emotionally, physically, sexually, and emotionally. So helping them step away from the shame, put that shame and blame where it belongs, which is on the perpetrator, not themselves. This is really a, a necessary step towards healing. It's, it's so traumatic, it's so traumatic. Let's get into another comment. Another stealthing comment we found reads this. I really don't understand why feminists create so many laws and men aren't protected against false accusations. Alexandra, what are your thoughts about that person's claims? I have to tell you, first of all, it's already illegal to lodge a false allegation of any kind of crime. Um, but more important than that, we have to remember just how incredibly rare false allegations of sexual assault are. Experts put the number at about 2 to 8% of reports. So that means, first of all, that a man is more likely to be sexually assaulted himself than to be falsely accused of sexual assault. And also that false rates for sexual assault are consistent with false rates for other kinds of serious crimes. But I have to tell you, I do not see men losing their minds on Twitter about false rates of burglary. Another social media user wrote this about stealthing. Impregnation is why sex exists. It's a risk both parties accept. It's like saying you consent to going for a car ride, but not to get in an accident. It can happen, and it's a risk you just take. Are you kidding me? I mean, wow. Wow. What are your thoughts, Dr. Holly, on this reasoning besides it's ridiculous. Absurd was going to be my answer. Uh, people <laughs> use condoms because they are so effective, 98% effective. So seat belts, airbags, we're preventing something from happening that we don't want to happen. Right. Good sex is about consent and pleasure between two people, those two people taking care of each other. This is just selfishness and utter and total disrespect. Yeah. Well, Alexandra, do you hope that other states will follow California's lead when it comes to stealthing? Absolutely. I know that before California passed this bill, New York and Wisconsin had tried to pass similar statutes that ultimately weren't successful. But I hope they'll take up the cause again. I hope that other states will follow. And I hope that they'll be optimistic because of California that this is politically feasible and it doesn't have to be a partisan issue. You know, the California bill was passed with unanimous support. And that means that this doesn't have to be a drag out fight. States can just, you know, move forward and protect survivors now. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Yes. Holly and Alexandra. Uh -huh. uh, very important information that it's you've shared stuff. with us. Thanks it's for so having important. Good stuff. And Dr. Ish, I mean, yeah. just, just to wrap it up, I mean, you're, you're a uh, yeah. sex therapist, yeah. psychotherapist, you yeah. deal with couples. Yep. I mean, we, you get involved in a relationship, uh, you have to be so careful today. And the thing you've got to be mindful of, you don't have the right to take away somebody's decision about, do I want to be involved in this pregnancy with you? And do I want to expose myself to risk? You take, can't take that decision away. And the act of sex is a series of adult conversations, right? It is. It's Communication. About consent. Trust. Content. Right? right? And the methods of protection against pregnancy and STIs. You got to have the whole thing. You got it. Well, we'll have more resources about consent on our website at thedoctorstv.com.